Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, let's, I guess, take a look at a few things before we go on. I'd like to talk to a few of the NPCs just because I kind of want to. I am the boss of the carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition, do you know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running aimlessly around the village, and they are not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Wow. Absolutely roasted. Now, I believe the, there's only a few other characters that roam around that I wanted to talk to, I guess. Uh, but anyway. There's a couple of uh, buildings that we can also go into, but I'm going to leave those for the moment. All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Our boss works us very hard. Well, that's good, I suppose. Have you seen Mr. Dompe, who lives in the graveyard up ahead? It's 12 o'clock right now, so he is probably asleep in his, hut, in his hut. Why don't you go out onto the field and kill some time? Like, I could do that, or I could do other things instead. Like going to... Question mark? There's also a piece of heart up there that I can't get. Which is a shame. That's okay. But there's this guy making all this music. Go around, go around and around and around. What fun. I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around. Go around and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill. Going around and around and around. He's very happy with himself, apparently. But anyway, that is everything in here so that we can actually leave already, so... But we'll need to keep that in mind for later. Now... What does this other guy have to say? If I can actually reach him, maybe I can target him and talk to him, maybe? I don't know. Well, maybe I can just actually reach that. Easier than I thought I could. Ah! Don't push me off, please. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Please, let me talk to you. Look at that poor girl over there. She works so hard taking care of her chickens, even though touching them gives her goosebumps. What a trooper. I would really like to help her. I've just been feeling so charitable these days. Don't you feel that way too? Maybe. Ah, falling down. I need to get out of here before I get pushed off again. Oh, there's a red rupee there. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. This game is crazy. There are so many things I've still yet to see in this game, apparently. It's been so many years that I've played this game my whole life and it still has more stuff for me. This used to be the Great Impa's house, but she doesn't live here anymore any longer. It is now open to all villagers. You are free to go on in. This village used to be a Shika village, but the Great Impa opened it to everyone. Okay. Good to know. Also, when we use the Sun Song, it works differently indoors and out outdoors. Also, there's a piece of heart there inside that cage that we can't get with that cow. Just wanted to point that out. Hey kid, do you always enter other people's houses without their permission? Didn't you pu your parents teach you any man manners? Oh well. Do you see a lady behind this house? She's going through a hard, hard times, oh well. If that lady asks you about chickens, you should listen to her. Okay. But whenever we're in a town and we use um, the Sun Song, uh, it changes to night instantly and we get teleported back to the last entrance that we came through. Uh, but out in the field or at Hyrule Castle, time will actually just pass faster until it is the next day or next night. Depending on when you use it. But anyway. Let's go talk to this other guy over here. At night. 
People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Wow. So rude. Anyone who sits on that tree is rude, apparently. Anyway. That is everything I wanted to check out here right now. So let's go a few other places now. While we can. Mainly, I guess t Castle Town again. Uh, but also want to go to London Ranch. So I'm going to do that first, since it's still night time. Even though I made it night time, I could change the time. Uh, but anyway, let me just do my absolutely best attempt of getting to London Ranch as fast as possible by turning around and walking backwards, because this is technically faster. If we use the map as a, uh, a way to see where we're going, it works out quite well. Except I keep having trouble with this control stick. It's not really working as well as I'd like it to. I do want it to be daytime when I get there anyway, so... Okay, let's turn around. We're here. Just need to wait a few more seconds, maybe. Otherwise, I could just go in and change the time, but anyway. I might also wait for... the sun sky to change a little bit more, maybe? I don't know. Let's go in. Lon Lon Ranch. What a delightful place. The music is great. And oh my goodness. There's a few things that we need to do here as well, so... Let's start off by rolling into this tree. For a Skulltula. Because of course there is. There we go. We can also roll into this box to find... Nothing? Okay, I thought there was a chicken in there. I guess I was wrong about that. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's go to the back silo thing as well. Because that has something for us. But I guess I should actually go into the main part of the r ranch anyway. Melon singing along with the music. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fair fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Let's bring out our ocarina. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with me? Uh, uh, play this song with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. You learned a ponus song. And now Apona just absolutely loves us. Oh, Apona, she's grown fond of you, fairy boy. And there we go, that's everything we can do there for the moment. This this sign looks a little bit wonky, but I guess that's probably normal. I'm probably just crazy, right? It's always been like this. <laughs> anyway, now let's head to the back area. All the way over this way. I'm also going to get rid of my bugs. For this. Goodbye, bugs. I don't need you for the moment. I can get more. Since they multiply whenever you put them in a bottle. Okay, all the way back here. All the way back here. 
we can go into this building by the store here. There are a couple of cows in here, which if we play a bonus song for... What a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me feel so good. I can produce a lot of milk. Have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. We get long long milk for free from any cow that we played a bonus song for. As long as we have an empty bottle. You got long long milk. This milk is very nutritious. Use it with C to recover your life energy. You will recover 5 hearts per drink. There are 2 drinks per bottle. So we have 10, 10 hearts that we can get filled up by using this milk, basically. So just like that. I don't need it right now, but anyway. Now this is a little bit of a block puzzle, which we complete, completely skip. So I'm going to skip it. All we need to do is hop down here, if I can. And then pull this block back. And then that's it. That's the entire block puzzle. Basically, if we skip it, just need to jump back in here, and then we can crawl through this hole, and that's it. As a child, I would move all the blocks out of the way, but as an adult, I'm just going to skip all of it and get a piece of heart. Just need one more, and we can get a full heart container. Okay, out we go. Just need to climb out. And we are good. Now there's just one more thing we need to do before we leave, which is fairly close to the entrance, except I'm probably also going to check out uh, one of the other buildings while we're here, so... Just need to move back. Please. Move back faster than the horse. I'm out running a horse right now. <laughs> kind of. Uh, but anyway, I just need to line myself up with where I'm going. Bye, horse. It was fun racing you. Okay. Back over here. Let's go into this... Uh, this house just here. All these cuckoos. All these cuckoos. My recommendation is throw a couple of these in that back corner. Just because they don't usually get out. They can get out, but it's not... They don't get out immediately, which is good. Oh, I can't throw over the table. That's rude. Uh, but anyway, let's talk to... Uh, Talon. Huh? 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 I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be. If it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malon back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands? You say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that, that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos, within the time limit, I'll give you something, something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. Want to play? Let's do it. You have 30 seconds, alrighty then. Get ready, here we go, the Super Cuckoos. Start looking. We can also see them go to where they land. We just need to make sure we pick up the right ones. This is why I said to move the other ones before. That's one of them, keep it up. Keep it up, two more to go, two more to find. It's a bit random which ones are which, I believe, but also maybe the ones that are... I don't know what's actually different about them, is the problem. That's one. That's another. All right, now the moment of truth. One more to find. Also, I love the mini game music in this game. Okay. I don't like. Okay. I don't like how they can move around when I'm in the text bubble. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plumb incredible. That's the last one. I've. You found them all. Come, come on over here. Hey, you. You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. Why are there cuckoos in my face? How'd you like to marry Talon, huh? 
Uh, that, y yeah, the, the, uh, 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 yes. Haha, <laughs> I was just kidding. Just kidding. I think you're a little t young for that, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm proud to present you a sample of our very own Lon Lon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. So we get Long Long Milk in another bottle. So we have two bottles now, but also we could buy more here if we have an empty bottle. Or we could just more get more for free from a cow, so. So there we go. Two milk bottles. And let's go on. I need to head to Castletown now, but also I'm going to check out this other building real fast. Because there's uh, some cows in here, but also this guy. Also, these two characters kind of remind me of Mario and Luigi, especially with their colors and mustaches. I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, am working at this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the work around here. I, the hard-working Ingo, should be the in charge, not that lazy bum, Talon. Okay, good to know. Anyway, there's some cows here if you want some free milk instead of going all the way back to the top, uh, the back of the branch. There's also that cow and Kakariko that I pointed out earlier. But anyway, that's everything here, so let's head to Castletown. You're here, Haru Castle, this way to Lon Lon Ranch. Well, we've already done that, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. But I do want to get some rupees here, since I can. Very nice. 115, that's a good amount. Now, first things first, let's check out some of the shops here since we haven't done that yet. So let's go into the bazaar. How bizarre. I heard a rumor that there is a monster that eats Highland Shields somewhere out there in the world. Have you ever seen it? Not yet, so welcome. And there's the Highland Shield for 80 rupees. This is a big heavy shield just like the ones Highland Knights use. It can stand up to a flame attacks. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think, talk to the owner. My current hot seller is the Hylian Shield, but it might be too big for you, kid. I guess not, because I thought the other guy was going to give me a discount if I talk to this guy, but I guess not. <laughs> Looks like this doesn't work here. Oh well. But there's the Hylian Shield for 80 rupees if you didn't get it at the, uh, in the graveyard. Which is just the better option. There's a rumor going around that there is a potion shop that can make the ultimate medicine. That's interesting. But anyway, this is a potion shop. Which means we can put potions of all sorts into our empty bottles that we have. Hey kid, if you want to carry medicine, you need a container to put it in. So I can buy a green potion. A red potion, which recovers our life energy. This is just a single dose. Fairy Spirit, which is in interesting. Uh, <sighs> you need an empty bottle to put it in. Don't go into battle without it, though. The Fairy Spirit is actually quite good. Blue Fire, we don't need to worry about. Uh, if we want to buy a bug, we can do that as well. Or a fish, which we don't really need. Also a Poe, which we also don't need. There's a lot of things we just don't need from the shop, so I'm just going to leave here for now. But anyway, that is pretty much everything here I wanted to do. Just one other... Th oh, uh, just, yeah, this is all the things I wanted to do in the market for the moment. I'm going to come back in just a second, though. Because I need to go over here and talk to the guard. Because well, this is a really weird, out-of-the-way thing that you can do. Which I don't know why you'd really need to do it, but you can do it anyway, so... If we talk to this guard... Do you really want to go through this gate that much? Let me think about it. Okay, but in return, give me 10 rupees. Uh, no. So you can pay this guy, this guard to actually get through the gate, even though you can just climb up the 
fine and get around. But if you use Zelda's letter... Hang on. Hang on, I'm sh I remember this being a thing. Sure. Okay, I'll let you pass. Quickly. I remember this being a thing, though. Am I wrong about this? I might be wrong about this. I was so sure you could use the Zelda's letters to actually get into Haru Castle. Keep it a secret from everyone. Okay. Wait, it's a secret to everyone? Whoa. That's kind of big. Anyway. Let's leave. And I guess go to the Happy Mask Shop. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read, read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you'll, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Okay. Well, we can buy the Keton mask for 10 rupees. Keton stuff is hot, hot, hot. Want to borrow the Keton mask? Yes, I do. You borrow the Keton mask, wear it with C to show it off. You'll be a popular guy with this mask on. And that replaces Zelda's letter now, so... I don't think we needed it for anything else. Haven't sold the newest mask yet. Just have faith. Keep trying a little longer. Well, I will do that. Now let's head back to Kakariko. Now that we've had a look at everything else here that I wanted to... I Actually, no, hang on. There's one more thing that I can do. I just need to change the time because I can do that now from in here. And that's quite a useful thing. Because we haven't seen the castle town at night. It's pretty empty. There's a, a few guards and there are some dogs running around. If you get... Uh, if you walk up to a, a, a dog, it will follow you. Oh, you are so handsome. Just like the King of Hyrule. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, you're so great like Princess Zelda. Hang on, I wanna actually read that. Oh. You are... more beautiful... than Princess Zelda. Oh. Okay. Anyway, there's a... also that guy up there. It seems like it's talking... taking forever for dawn to come. The view of Hyrule Castle is in the morning sun is so fantastic. But anyway, we want to actually get this dog here to follow us. So hopefully I've done that. Looks like I have because it's following me now. So let's go over this way with it following us. If we have a dog following us, it actually follows us between areas. And now I want to go into this building here. And it will also follow us, so. Richard! This is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give you this to you as a reward. And for bringing her her dog, she gives us another piece of heart. And we got another heart container, so now we have five hearts. There's also a blue rupee in this crate if we want that. But anyway, that's everything here. And now we can head to where we're supposed to be going now. After all that. Okay, song of... What's it called? Sun song. Not son of... It's... It's... Bad words. It's sun song. I remember. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we can also equip the Keton mask. By tapping it. We actually just wear the, the mask around. But anyway, let's head on... To Kakariko. Doesn't have any extra effect though, which would be cool. I'm just gonna take it off though. So let's talk to the guard with this uh, keton mask on though. Once we get in in there. 
The Happy Mask uh, stuff is all one big side quest, but we can't do all of it at the moment, though, I don't think. But I'll do this. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do this a little bit for the moment. I was thinking about holding off on this until later. But I figure since we're going to Castle Town anyway, we can do a few other things. Okay, let's equip this again. Let's talk to this guy. Also, how many things do I have? Twelve, okay. Hello, sir. Wahaha, <laughs> do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a key something character mask? I heard he is very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Yes, I will. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wahaha. <laughs> you sold the mask, uh, sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. So we need to take 10 rupees back to the mask shop. Ah, uh, but not right now. Also, the guy is now wearing the mask. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are Mr. Hero. But anyway, let's go past him now. And head up Death Mountain. What would Sarah- yeah, we've already seen that. Here we go. Death Mountain Trail. Kakarika Village, Death Mountain Trail, starting point. Okay, well, anyway. There's also some Tektites here that are going to be a problem as we go up. Red Tektite. Uh, lock onto it as it jumps with Z targeting. So they jump around a lot, which can be annoying, but anyway. They're not too tough to take out as well. But you might want to avoid them if you don't feel up to fighting them. I can hear a Skulltiller. Can't do anything about it though. Just keep targeting it. And not moving the control stick so you can do the vertical slice. You can take them out just like that. Come on. Also, whenever we're near an enemy, the music changes slightly to show that we're near an enemy and we're in a fight. It's a piece of heart up there that we can't do anything else about at the moment. Dodongo's Cavern. Don't enter without permission. Well, okay. Well, what are you going to do about it, Stein, if I break you? There we go. It's also this thing here, which is a Goron. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside uh, the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. You mean there are Dodongos in a place called Dodongo's Cavern? And you were surprised by this? On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more, get uh, Goron Gossip. Head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Well, let's do that then. Also, time passes when you're on Death Mountain. So... But just up ahead... There should be another Goron. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see see her? I guess. Now, getting fairly close to where we need to go. Follow the trail along the edge of the cliff and you will reach Goron City, home of the Gorons. Okay, well, there's also this Goron coming straight at me at full speed. I don't think this is going to protect me if I get hit. There I go. Off the edge. And I get respawned because of that. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Ow! 
So, pro tip, just avoid the groin that's rolling towards you. It hurts. There's also another path up this way that we can't go up at the moment. Death Mountain Trail, going further up the mountain. There's also a, a spot where Navi turns green here, which is important to know, but I can't really do that. Uh, but I'm gonna follow this Goron as he rolls away. Just because I believe, at some point, at some point, he's gonna stop. And I can actually talk to him. I wish I could roll down the mountain like a rock with a bomb flower and... BOOM! If I could do that with a bomb flower, I could become a real man. So he was trying to get a bomb flower down the mountain, I guess? But anyway... Let's head up this way. Now before we do anything else... I want... to go over here. Natural wonder, bomb flower, danger, do not uproot. This is a big Goron, wow. I'm standing here to shade the bomb flower from the sun. Do you have a question for me? Uh, what's a bomb flower? Those plants growing over there are bomb flowers. They are mining plants that grow only on this mountain. They usually grow only in dark places like ca caves. So bomb flowers that grow in a place like this are extremely rare. If you have a Goron's base, uh, Goron, Goron's bracelet, even a little kid like you could easily pick it with A. Dodongo's cavern. Did you see that ca cavern on your way up here? That is the Dodongo's cavern. Because the light inside is very dim, the bomb flowers, a plant unique to this mountain, grow like crazy in there. Okay, we can't do anything with this bomb flower because it's not going to work for us apparently. Uh, but we're, what we can do is if we target nothing and just backflip off of this at the right angle, which is easier said than done. But if we can manage, if we can manage, if we can manage to do that, just backflip like that, we can actually land up here when we're not supposed to and get this piece of heart, just like that. But anyway, I think that's probably it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.